Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And I thought we would do a, a springtime video today. And um, for those of you, I want to do it with a napkin. And, um, you know, whenever I'm shopping out and about, you know, inspiration can come from anywhere. And this is, uh, you know, I, uh, at Bed Bath & Beyond. You can get these napkins, and some of them are two ply. Some of them, most at the grocery store, two ply. But it's like a Bed Bath and Beyond is a specialty shop, but they had a lot on clearance. And this happens to be three ply. And um, let's see if I could show you all, for those of y'all who may not know, you know how to get a napkin apart. This is uh, some of washi tape, you know, three ply. You can start it like that with a piece of tape. And then, thinking this here is two ply. You know, you might want to try inconspicuous. to see that had three whole plies. But depending on how you want your... Uh, napkin to look or how much glue you'll be putting down you know and you got to be so delicate if you're going to take it all the way down to the third ply but um for this project you know this is my jump start journal you know where all the pages on the left are done and uh i came across this one which I've never, you know, I've had several of these journals, but I've never been fond of this page, and I've always altered it. So, uh, for this instance, the leaves, you know, were not outlined, so I took one of my micro pens and went over it. And, uh, and then, you know, you could faintly see the circles, so I went over the circles also with a micro pen. And then for this over here, I went ahead and done this. And see, it's ever so delicate. It will fall apart on you. But I just took the whole outline and cut it off. And you see how that's bigger than that. I just started, you know, went ahead and went around. And I said, well, I'm going to put it over here. And then, you know, you have to cut this side off for that over there. And I cut that out and put it up here. And then I had to, you know, I had to piece it back together for the size of my book. So that's how I got that. And, um, you know, here's some other napkins. Whenever I see them on clearance, I pick them up. Which this one is really... You know, that would be cool. That would be cool, too. Which I think I've done one. I think I've cut the birds out, but it's been, you know, kind of years ago. And uh, here's another one I like. That one's just the same. It's not... Uh, and uh, here's another really pretty napkin. Well, I don't think it's nothing on that side, but I've, I've cut it apart. And these are thick. I've used this in one of my videos. It's probably been a, about a year ago. And another pretty napkin. Which goes good with that green, huh? Love both sides. Real graphic. Anything to do with graphics. I didn't know it back when I was coming out of high school, but I'd love to be a graphic designer now. That's very pretty. Even against the green. And... 
all those that I have back here, but I do have a ton more. And before we get started, I got three other collages I'm going to show you. Uh, I think I had started out that morning. I painted that background, so I said I'll paint this one, which this is not a jumpstart journal. And uh, I just went around, you know, took my pen, micro pen. Uh, see if I can find one. Right here, a micron pen. This is a 01. I usually use a 8, 10, or 12. But, you know, the 01, you might need it ever so slightly every now and then. And, and then I went around it with this, with that. Um, well, I keep having to move my collage that I'm going to show you on. But this is the abstract. I don't. It's 3D li liner. So I just went all the way around here. Because I did have a posca pen that was in white and I would do it do the dots in it but it uh you know it finally gave out on me I think I had probably um five or six jelly roll pens that um just all dried up which they're so bad to do that anyway and like I said before if you ever buy a jelly roll pen try to buy them separately instead of a, a three pack or four pack or however they come because I get really bad luck when it's more than multiples of threes and fives. It's just uh, one out of the whole pack might write. And that's randomly. But they tend to dry up very fast. And one thing I try to do is not um, leave my markers out in a window, near a window, uh, where it's going to be sunny. Um you know, I try to have all my markers away from a window. And, um, I'm just full of little, uh, things to tell you all today. Uh, I want to show you this little thing. When I was showing you the cards, I had to come across these. And, you know, back when I was, uh, had this whole big dictionary, it was an old dictionary that had it work, and, you know, we don't use those anymore, so I asked my supervisor, can I take it home? She said, sure. So, um, as I was doing the word collages, or either putting the whole, where I covered the whole page, I noticed I was coming across words that uh, pertain to uh, art. I use adhesive tape, so I put that down, and then... You know, you put it on any background. This is just my, uh, uh, what is it, 12 by 12 uh, paper. I, you know, made it match the little word, and then I clipped it off on the corners. Here's the word template. Uh, the word color. Uh, definition of junk for junk journals, fade, airbrush, texture, Rembrandt, alter, mixed, undercoat, palette, album, opaque, design, color black, here's a compass with a little picture, background, blend, still life, stencil, natural, brush, book, 
got to have art, huh? Can't miss that word. Abstract. Xerography. Process of copy and printing material. Xerography. Yellow. Varnish. Blotch. Watercolor. Can't miss that. Uh, the sense. Uh, what was that? Here's easel. I don't know. It's part of something, so I must have. I must have already got half of it. So it must have been on the bottom page, and then up at the top, it started off. Stamp. Loss. Paint, paintbrush, painted, painter, painting, all of them. And that's just something fun to do if you want to stick those down in your book. Or, you know, you could be making a collage book and just put, you know, one here and then write in your daily uh, journal. And then uh, this is something else which I thought was pretty cool. Um, the other day I was looking at... You know, we're getting ready to go out of town, and this is my phone cover. Up here's my camera you're looking at. Um, but I happen to see lanyards that you can put in your phone. And as I was looking at them, I said, well, hmm, you know, everywhere I went, they was out of them. So I said, well, you know, here's an old credit card. This is just a dummy card says beneficiary trying to get you to buy life insurance so i took it took your hole punch and you know the credit card's a little bit wider than your phone but you know we all have lanyards laying around maybe from where you used to work and i stick that in there then stick my phone in it and it works just just fine not a bit of trouble i mean you have to be careful though uh if you get maybe uh thicker plastic dummy credit card because maybe it may pop your phone out of course this is a shallow one you know you you may have a, a deeper one of those um i forget what they call them they're a lot deeper and plastic they might cover your phone but this one's very shallow so i had to use a shallow card but you know that works just as well and you don't have to go to all the trouble of, of buying that so there's the little hint of the day. Okay. Okay, we're going to try to... Wait a minute. Got one more or two more to show you. This one I just got through with a while ago. I was going to do this on camera, but... I thought if I dumped all this off and try to recreate that, it would have been a mess. So, uh, and usually I don't even do word collages, um, you know, on camera. And um, I, I'd rather just sit by myself and not talk when I do them. But um, this one I just happened to put together, and I kept thinking, how am I going to get it back together? And I, I can't take a picture of it because I'm using my phone to video this this video. So, um, but, you know, this is what to do with all your words. And I've always, you know, liked doing words, have pictures. And, okay, I got one more. where um, I got these out of Variety Magazine. And, um, you know, once again, that green background. All it was was, I think, this acidic green, lime green. I may have put more yellow in it or a hint of blue. And then uh, I took one of my ink pads. 
um, might have been purple or raspberry and just I wanted it to have that old world effect and I may have did it you know even harder over here at the edges all the way around that's how come it's more but in the middle I just went like that and uh, after I put this down and then I put this down that was around her I cut both of these out and I thought it needed just a little bit more. And I've always liked how black pops against the uh, lime green. And I took my, uh, you know, just piece of black cardstock and my hole puncher and cut out maybe what, uh, maybe 200 holes. So that took a while. But I, uh, went ahead and just squirted a whole big blob of uh, glue down and, and you know, took my foamy brush, went like that. But I didn't just sling them on there. I put one at a time, which that's a feat in itself because you got glue all over your hands and everywhere. But, you know, don't throw those away. Those are great to use as your border, which uh, you'll probably see that in an upcoming video. You know, don't throw those away. And, oh, had one more thing to show you for, show you this uh, thing. Um, you know how we all have cards laying around. And, uh, you know, you can get a whole pack of cards at uh, Dollar Tree. And I thought, wouldn't that make a good little book? Since, you know, we, we buy them for how many cards? You might buy a whole pack for a dollar, but use just one or two. So I thought, wouldn't that be a good little book? And, you know, maybe um, if you want to take your hole punch and punch three holes. But, um, you know, glue all of them together. And then so forth and so on. But, you know, I would punch my holes first. And then, you know, don't worry about the words because you're going to collage over that. And then that's just out, out of a, you know, there you go. A neat little mini book. And, you know, that could be your first page. How wonderful is that? Okay. Let me set this over here. And we're going to try to do this spring collage. And here's one of the... Um, flowers that I showed you the other day that was, uh, you know, out of my coloring book. I know I've set this card down a hundred times and then when I go to pick it back up, I can't find it. Okay, here we are at the napkin, and this one, I've yet to take the back off. And that's down to the, the last one. So, it being so delicate, I don't think I want to take a chance of putting that on the back. This is a brush I used earlier, which I think it's about dried up. See what I'm talking about? Ever so delicate. Some of it might be perfect and some of it not. I can see where there's some air pockets behind it. You know, instead of the only reason I'm not dragging it because I'm afraid I'll break a part off. But you know, don't be worried because uh, you know that that will dry clear. 
then I had this other another flower that come out of my coloring book that uh, I created you sort of got to be careful sometimes when you uh, color you know, if uh, if it hasn't been too long since you stamped it, and you go to uh, put glue on it, that uh, the background's going to smear the black wheel. But you know that's been sitting for quite a while, and um, I'm not too worried. It's not to say it won't do it, but. Not as worried I, as I would be if uh, had I just done it. And that's the same way um, with that other collage around them ladies where I uh, took the pen and just, you know, went all the way around and then etched it out. Here's, uh, you know, the little heart to my butterfly. Thought I'd just put it on the, fly, on the flower and make it look like a butterfly. I don't know if it's windy where you are, but today in North Carolina, it's awfully windy. See, in this one, I don't know. It's like I won't, maybe I'll leave. I think I actually got both claws. Let's see how I want to. So we're finally into spring. And pollen. Me and my husband love to go, uh, well he does, I ain't gonna say I do. Loves to go look at cars. So uh, to get, in so, to, yesterday it was so pretty, and to get some walking in, uh, we walked around this whole big car lot, and uh, I called my husband. I said, "That's a pretty color." It's uh, I said, "What is that metal flake?" He said, "No, it's pollen." <laughs> I said, "I said maybe I need to call it pollen, pollen gray." <laughs> it did make it pretty though. I mean, you really couldn't tell it. It was so perfect on the car. It wasn't piled up or anything. I just had a good laugh. No, that's pollen. Okay. And and that bottle there that I'm using actually is uh, the Mod Podge. Let's see. I don't think this is going down how I had it on here other day, but we'll go with it today. I think I had it better spaced on here. Let's see. This is my Diane Reevely collage collection. 
which I had it probably ever since the end of last year. And I thought, what better than to use the collage face? Sort of kind of got it all laying out over here, but if it'll go back down the way I had it laid out, I don't know. All I hear is car doors slamming outside. Okay, this one here, I've about done the wrong thing about put the glue on the the napkin. See this one here, I'm gonna leave it three ply and just see how that does. I mean, definitely it's gonna have a whiter background, of course. After it starts, see how that starts pulling away. But you know, if you like all that white, if you want that to show up, but it's kind of pulling away. So I got to really wet it. I can see now if I play with it too much, it's going to really mess it up. See, you're kind of better off. See how I messed that one up? Kind of better off. See, I done fiddle battle with it too much. But you know, even if you don't like that, you know, when, when this dries, I can just lay another one over top of it and, you know, take it all the way down. I think that's what I'll do anyway. I mean, I could have took it down after I And, and, you know, that's another thing. Like I was telling you, if these circles had not dried good enough, they would have smeared. So I know now to uh, be sure to take your napkin all the way down. Let's put this one here in place of it. I was going to put it up there, but. So you can kind of get the full effect of the collage. It would left a big old hole right here. Yeah, and you see how that's not quite, you know, it's white in the background, but, but we'll live with it. Let's see if I can get this. I think I'm going to stick this here. Okay. 
mere little flower. If you guys could could uh, hit that like button and um, would help me out. And uh, while I'm thinking about it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And uh, support my channel that way. I'd appreciate it. I want to hurry up and get to... Uh, 200 so you know if you could tell your friends family members anybody who uh artistic or not artistic and want to learn how to be artistic uh, i would really appreciate it you know when i first started out youtube and um I had gotten up to, I don't know, I think maybe 50 uh, first three or four months that I was doing it. And for some odd reason, YouTube stripped me of all of them. And it really discouraged me. And I'm not really one to even get discouraged easily, but you don't know how what a blow that was. Here I was... Uh, uh, you know, had a journal. I was tracking it. Every day I would uh, put down how many subscribers I had and how many views. And I was, you know, really proud of myself. And anyone out there who's who's made it really big ought to be proud of their self. I, I remember... Um, Actually, when I first started watching YouTube, this lady, uh, you all may know her, have seen her. Her name, uh, handle name was Hot and Flashy. That lady was just starting out when I got on YouTube. And now look at her now. She has made it big. But she, you know, she stuck with it. And I don't know how long she's been out there. Maybe 10 years or more. I really don't know. But, um... You know, she stuck to it and made a brand for herself. And uh, like a lot of other people have made a brand for themselves. I guess you you have to stick to it. No matter what. And, you know, I like seeing all of you all's videos. Y'all inspire me. Pinterest inspires me. And, um... You know, then I got another blow that, you know, someone hacked my account. And, um, you know, some people said, you know, you just really got to stay after uh, Instagram. You got to write to them three, four times a day, but good Lord, I just lost my mother. I didn't have the, didn't want to take the time to uh hound them three or four times a day or whatever but you know you really want it back that's what you got to do but um you know more power to that person but um anyway we're not gonna let that get us down and um we're gonna keep moving forward and hope you enjoyed today's video and as usual hit that like and subscribe button and stay